College student wins stalking order against helicopter parents. Let's begin with that one. So they were overly involved in her life, and it was unhealthy, say the libs. It was an unhealthy attachment. Even though the parents accused their daughter of doing drugs and being promiscuous, and they saw they installed, monitoring, uh, they installed monitoring software on her phone and computer, she then goes and complains to the degenerate school dean, and then they sue the parents, and the parents say, we're not bothering her. We're not a problem. Never mind, the parents have now refused to pay further tuition and demanding a refund from the University of Cincinnati. And so uh, there it is. That's the story. I don't know what to ask you about that. I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. If you have a daughter who's a slut and a drug addict and you're concerned about her, what's the difference if she's 21 or 41? And especially if you're paying the tuition for the child. I realize that this is offensive to many people. Not what, I'm, not what she was doing, but what I'm saying, because you think everyone has a right to do anything they wish. Well, that may be true, as long as you're working as a barrister uh, and three other jobs to pay for your tuition, I would say that is true. But if your poor fat parents from Kansas are worried about you and paying 60 grand a year so you can stutter, st stutter your way through a thespian school and learn to be a thespian, I think that they have a right to, uh, to ask you what to do. Listen to uh, clip one. Here's the student. Here's the thespian, clip one. They basically thought that because they were paying for my um, college tuition and, and living expenses that they could tell me what to do, who to hang out with, and, you know, basically control all of my daily life. No, no. Well, the college, the college dean, whoever she was, told you that your evil parents had no right to control you. After all, you're a college student now. You're a young woman. And as you well know, the deans all love as many young women as they can get into their into their clavins. And so now I have a new one in the clavin. They don't want to let her go back to those big, fat, ugly parents in Kansas, do they? Not when they have new, fresh blood in the clavin. You know what I'm saying? You see how I see the world? It's too bad if you don't see it my way because it's my show. If you don't like it, get your own show and then tell me how you like to see the world. Your world is upside down. My world is correct. The world I see is the correct world. The world you see is a warped, disgusting, warped, crazy, sick, anti-American, anti-family, anti-church, anti-military, anti-police, anti-family world. It's not my world. And I'll tell you something else. I'm in the majority of America. I don't care how many votes were rigged by the, by the Chicago machine out of, out of, uh, under Rahm Emanuel's uh, advice or how many votes that they rigged up with the three million illegal aliens that they uh, granted amnesty to. I don't care. The majority of Americans, no matter what the poll was before the election, identified as, Chris, as excuse me, um, moderately conservative. That's the majority of Americans. Do you know how many people identify as liberals in this country? Do you have any idea what a small percentage of people identify with the far left in this country, even though we're being run over every cliff imaginable by the far left machine under Barack Hussein Obama? The far left machine is taking us over the fiscal cliff, the social cliff, the moral cliff, the education cliff, the military cliff, the family cliff, the police cliff, you name it. Every cliff you could imagine this man's taking us over. That's right. I'll be right back to take your calls at 855-407-282. I'm not asleep. It may be Friday, but I'm just beginning. This is the Savage Nation.